OK, well, great. listen, um, moving on now, and for some of us who can travel outside their county, um, uh, it's uh, time to look at uh, where we might plan a trip uh, to something to look forward to. And this week, it's all about discovering Ireland's ancient east as part of Falcha Ireland's Make a Break for It campaign. And joining us this morning to help uncover some hidden gems is travel expert Tom Branner. Good morning to you, Tom. How are you? Hi, Anna. Nice to see you this morning. How are you? Good to see you again. So where are we going to be looking at this morning? Uh, we are off to Kildare and Leash. So I guess on the back of um, those two counties, along with Offaly, suffering an unfortunate uh, second lockdown, I guess the idea is for us to consider exploring both those counties. Maybe two counties we often overlook in terms of tourism. Yes. Um, but a lot to be offered in Kildare and Leash. OK, let's kick off. Where are we going to? OK, so I was just like in Kildare this weekend and I guess a lot of people, I guess historically Kildare has kind of suffered from being a little bit too close to Dublin. So people tend to kind of get very close, but they move on to Dublin. But Kildare has so much to offer in its own right. Um, you know, you have beautiful, beautiful places to stay. I stayed in a really nice spot called the Killishy House Hotel. But I mean, Kildare would have a lot of um, hotels that would, people would be very aware of, like Carton House and the K Clubs. Mm -hmm. We've got these really nice places that offer some good deals right now. And then from there, I guess, um, you have uh, horse culture. I guess Kildare would be very synonymous with horse culture. So a really uh, nice spot to stop off in is the National Stud. And uh, here we see some footage of it there. And the National Stud, I guess, it's, um, you know, it, it appeals to all all age groups, kind of a cross-generational activity. There you can see, I actually met B for, B for Salmon over the weekend, which... Oh, the famous horse, exciting. yeah. Exactly, and I, I wouldn't be a, a big horse racing guy, but I mean, even, I guess, it's so kind of ingrained in our culture, you have all these household names. And one really cool thing about the national stud is to kind of become a more of an all weather all season um destination they've created a new irish horse racing experience which is set to open in a couple of weeks now i got a sneak preview for that and what is it's essentially a, a really cool world-class museum where you go in and you um virtually uh buy your own horse and goths you name it, you get a trainer, and then you're kind of geared through um, the whole uh, um, horse racing kind of um, timeline before you and your friends and your family participate in a simulated horse ride. And that's a really cool, fun add-on that you can kind of do in, in the National Studs, along with the Japanese gardens and uh, a really nice restaurant they have as well. OK, I'm moving on. Where are we going to next? Um, I guess the other thing that Kild Kildare, I guess, would be known for is um, shopping. So, I mean... Uh, Kildare Village. Kildare Village. Yeah. Who, who needs uh, New England when you can go to Kildare Village? One thing with Kildare Village is just make sure you book ahead because it's becoming quite popular now with the Christmas build-up. So, um, you know, contact the stores beforehand and you can get you can get into their booking system. Um, also, uh, Newbridge Silverware, I guess, where Waterford Crystal has... Uh, where Waterford is Waterford Crystal, uh, Kildare has Newbridge Silverware, and uh, they are already um, gearing up for the, the Christmas season ahead. I actually went in there on Saturday and there was even... Uh, they have their Christmas service. shop there, yeah. I think they have it open all year round, don't they? Yes, exactly, yeah. So they're, they're already in... And this is one year we'll forgive people for starting Christmas in September and seeing <laughs> yeah. Christmas cards. And, and the, mu and, the uh, Museum of yeah. Style Icons there is amazing. Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. You almost feel like you're in the kind of the south of France or something. That guides you through, like you say, various style icons like Audrey Hepburn and Lady Di, even the Beatles. So a, a cool... Uh, another kind of cool and maybe... Um, unexpected attraction that you have attached to the, the, the store itself. OK, let's move on. So we're in Kildare and then we want to go to Leash. What does Leash have to offer? Yeah, Leash, it's honestly kind of blew me away. A lot of, and that's genuine, a lot of people might associate it with, um, you know, heading there for electric picnic or the ploughing championships. But it has this really, I guess, rustic, um, rustic culture and um, a great, like, Anglo-Irish big country house heritage. Mm -hmm. So you can really see a really kind of stunning, affordable 
um, properties. I stayed in a place called um, Roundwood House. Um, there's also Doro Castle. If you want to kind of ramp it up a little bit more, you have the likes of Ballyfin, where um, Kim and Kanye, of course, famously stayed. Do you oh, have, of course, um, Ballyfin. I've never been. Have you been to Ballyfin? Oh, I've been to Ballyfin. Oh. Now, I've only... I I've only haven't I've only had um, like an uh, uh, afternoon tea there, but uh, I think the I mean it's a it's a it's a treat. It's like a thousand euros per night, but you yeah. can get obviously the place I stayed in was one hundred and seventy euros per night, and just really beautiful country living. And then once you're beyond um, your actual base, you've got wonderful um, heritage sites like um, the Rock of Dunamass, which was this it's this almost um, Rock of Cashel esque rock that's just off the main um, Dublin to Cork motorway. Ah, uh, here we have footage of the the Sleeve Bloom Mountains, by the way, which are a really amazing attraction. Now, I'd often seen the Sleeve Blooms in the distance off the motorway and thought, you know, um, they look quite low, but they're really a, an impressive mountain range. The Rock of Duna Mass here is just off the motorway, and you get that you get that sense of it's. Um, a real hidden attraction, but really accessible, incredible for sunsets. And you just, I guess, you know, sometimes with these attractions, it's all about, you know, we can be quite sheepish heading to the same spots all the time. But in Leash, you really have places where they may not have the, like the massive wow factor of, we'll say the McGilly Cuddy Reeks or the, um, you know, the Cliffs of Moher. But because there's nobody really there, you just kind of get, you connect with the place a whole lot more. Yeah. Another really cool thing to do here is, um, you can do like wild foraging tours. There's a lady there called Mary Belfin, Wild Food Mary. So that's wild really Mary. connected with the land. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And then you can. What about Emo Court? Yeah, Emo Court, another example of um, these. Um, uh, this is um, owned by us, owned by the state. And so a wonderful kind of historic estate attraction where you can either visit the house, they have a cute little cafe or um, wander the, the the gardens. Check uh, the, the cafe may be closed right now, but the gardens are certainly open. And so a lovely place for families to visit. Kildare also has Castle Town House, by the way, which is a similar, you know, we've such a richness of all these heritage properties. And now is a really good time where we're not jetting away to, you know, the Christmas markets or, um, and such. So now we have time to kind of take advantage of um, these sites on our own doorstep. Yes, Tom, and, and the make or break for campaign has been hugely successful. So we'll all be visiting Kildare and Offaly. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure. And discover Ireland.ie for all those. Thank, or Leash, I should say, not Offaly. Kildare and Leash. Thank you so much.